Hey guys, welcome to my video. Um, this is, I think, number third video with this motor here. Uh, for those of you who didn't see the previous videos, um, this is my big pulse motor. Uh, it just has a basic MOSFET circuit with optical timing, secondary windings going to a capacitor. Uh, we have 48 volt battery um, measuring 50.63 volts. Uh, this is the amp meter for what the motor is going to be using. Here's the voltmeter for the capacitor sitting at 1.2 volts. And then what happens here is this motor is going to run. We'll turn this on. Um, so using Adreno pulse width modulator as a speed control. Uh, the output's going to go through these full bridge rectifiers into this capacitor. And then it's going to travel down the line and run this motor. This motor is just a basic um, 48 volt brush DC motor and um, so basically the output of this motor while it's running is going to run that motor. On some of the previous videos uh, we had it, some of the power routing back to this battery to show a um, less amperage which is pretty neat. We had it running a generator on one of the other videos and um, we had a magnetic coupling video so those of you who haven't seen those I'd suggest watching the previous two also so let's get this thing started so I'm just going to turn this up this is not a self-starting motor so we need to give it a little kick and um, you can see the motor running it's running quite slow right now on the big motor but the little one's running pretty nice this is our amp draw about 80 to 90 milliamps um, here's our voltage on the capacitor for the moment and then there's our amperage going into the small motor uh, it's right around 55 milliamps so watch what happens to the voltage of the capacitor as I turn this motor up So here's what the motor is using, the big motor. We have 104 volts coming off the capacitor running the second motor. We're running about 100 and 112 milliamps there. And uh, if we try to load the motor up a little bit, the voltage will go even higher. But the motor is just running pretty normally. If we try to slow down the, the fan, it loads the motor a little bit but we could still have useful load on this and it even makes more output so we could run a load with this motor use the output and turn this thing down it's starting to smell like burnt motor <laughs> so yeah this motor you could use it to run a load you could use it to back charge the battery a little bit you could run lights like we've shown in previous videos you could run light bulbs off this output. Uh, you could run motors. You could charge secondary batteries. You could charge primary batteries. Um, no over unity claims, just pretty neat little experiment. So for those of you who think the battery's just running the motor, there's the battery at 49 volts. Here's the capacitor at 59 volts and it will go as high as over 100 volts so tell me what you think in the comment section uh, the main motor is just 48 volts secondary motors 48 volts and um, yeah hope you enjoyed the videos thank you